Hey y'all, it's Shannon and welcome back to my channel. He want me to hit him first. Hmm, that'll happen with me in a hearse. Hey, I drop a pick on the gram. Hey, now he come with the thirst. Click, click, close. Oh. Hey y'all, it's the me, back again, let's go. No, I'm just playing. Alright y'all, so today, as you can tell by the title, is a wig transformation video. Another how to wig transformation video. Today's video is sponsored by Yolissa's Hair. Let's get the boxes, let's get the box. Boom, Yolissa's Hair. Make sure you check out Yolissa's Hair because, sis. Let's just look at this hair right now. Mm, poo. So everything about this video, this hair, I mean everything, it will be in the description box down below. So make sure you check out the description box from the link to this hair, the links to the website, the information about this hair. But anyway, yes, today you're going to be watching me put on this wig, how to put it on, and how I styled it, and stuff like that. That's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this video, and let's get started. Okay y'all, so right now I'm just starting off with my stocking cap method, or you can call it the bald cap method. Whatever one you want to call it, it's the same thing, but y'all seen me do this before, so I'm not really going to go in depth, but I'm basically just cutting off that excess stocking cap and um, just going around my ears and stuff like that. I would say be very careful around your ears because for some reason I could not get it to like stick over my ears and I was taking off too much like it was just a lot going on and I didn't even feel like fixing it so I just left it alone but you're about to see I do mess up on my ear and I would say that's the most like kind of tricky part about the stocking cap method but once you get it you got it but yeah I did mess up on that part and I was just like whatever because I don't feel like fixing it but yeah I'm just cutting off the excess cap and then I'm going to be taking like some bronzer, contour powder, and just matching the cap to my skin tone. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Okay, y'all so here is the box boom boom it comes with the wig they come they give you a wig cap and a hair wrap that says your list of hairs i didn't even see this but also it comes with they give you like a um a like what is this this is like a Ugh, whatever that you can sew onto your wig to make it tighter if this is too loose for you so i never really use these but i probably will we're gonna put on this wig right now it's 24 inches and the hair density is 180 so So I have the wig on. I'm loving it. Ooh, it feels so nice too. It's like really soft. I think it come like pre-plucked, but it don't have like a part in it. Like it don't come with like its own part. So I don't really know what I wanna do. And sometimes I like having wigs that don't come like traditionally plucked, like the part, because then I can decide like how I like it. This side part is so cute. But I don't want side part because I had side part last time, like for my birthday. But I think I'm gonna just do a classic bone straight middle part. Even though I had that too. But that is so cute. But maybe I could, I might like do a style. Like I might like put this up or something. I'm gonna look on like Jonathan Page or like um, arrogant tape page and like figure out what I want to do but I'm gonna just glue it down I think I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pluck anything right now I mean I could pluck yeah I could pluck these sides because they're not really plucked yeah I'm gonna just pluck the sides but I'm not gonna pluck any like part because I really don't know what I want to do but I think I'm gonna just do a middle part if not I'm gonna look on you know 
I am Jonathan Page or Argente just to see like some styles or something because I'm gonna do something different but mm -hmm. that's what we about to do let me go pluck this okay 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 y'all so now I'm just putting that same bronzer contour powder colors on the lace of the wig because again I wanted everything to match be my skin tone and not be too like white as you can tell like this is transparent lace so the lace is like a whitish kind of tint it's not really like a light brown or you know any type of tint so I did just put my makeup over it to match my skin tone better and lay better and right now I'm just cutting the lace into squares so it's easier for me to apply the glue um, a lot of people do this this is kind of the most easiest way to have a good application with your lace because you don't want to like put the whole glue around your whole hairline and then try to lay it down and it's just too much so yeah this part right here was a little tricky for me because like I said I haven't done my hair in so long because we we in quarantine and just not going anywhere so I was just I don't even know one side came out good the other side didn't come out good I cut too much lace and it was just too much going on so I yeah one side was messed up another side was perfect but I just you know I just kept going because at the end of the day I left it with a middle part so nobody will be able to see that but as you can tell right now I'm just using my boho glue and I'm putting that around just like the front area of my forehead and my hairline um as you can tell I'm not going all the way down to my ear because I'm waiting for that part so I'm just you know brushing out the glue and now I'm about to glue it down this is really simple and easy um, and all you do is just sit it down and you can take your comb and brush it just make sure that that glue and that lace is stuck together and then you want to just repeat the process put the glue you know lay the lace and then spread it hold it down and stuff like that so you can just keep watching this this is going to repeat the same thing <laughs> taking my eyebrow razor and I am actually using this to cut off my lace now y'all seen me do this before and I actually recommend this as the best way to cut off your lace because it gives you that jagged like edge cut instead of a straight edge cut like scissors do and it makes your lace look way better and more natural I do recommend you getting an eyebrow razor and using that to cut off your lace it's way better than scissors in my opinion um, so yeah, and then I'm taking more powder to make that lace kind of like go away, like be invisible because again, this was transparent and transparent is way different from HD. So um, yeah, but mm, that makeup worked because look at that, okay? Like where's the lace? All right, y'all, so I just finished gluing, applying, plucking. I decided to pluck a middle part. You can't see it right now because I don't, I need to put like a little bit of makeup in it. So I went with straight because I was going to do like a half up, half down with this, but y'all, that was a struggle. Like I literally tried and it was just not working out. I mean, I didn't really fully try like, you know, slick it up and stuff like that, but it just was not working out. So I was just like, I'm gonna just do straight. Well, I'm going to just straighten it. So, y'all, as y'all can tell, it, the style did not work out. It was just all over the place. One, I know I didn't really try to do it, but because I could have slicked it up more and, you know, made it look really cute. But it was just getting late. I didn't feel like it. And I was just like, Ugh, I'm not even going to go through all of that. So, I just decided to just bone straight it, do a middle part. And I already plucked and did everything. But um yeah so i'm just straightening right now and y'all i'm using this wand to literally flatten out the part but i really need to just get a hot comb and i think i'm gonna get one of them 
um, like maybe this weekend or something, but I need to get a hot comb because it's so much easier just to comb out the edges and make everything flat instead of using this wand. Like, it's just too much. But yeah, I'm definitely going to get a hot comb soon because it's just time. It's time for one. But yeah, I'm just straightening it, making sure everything is flat. And it came out cute in the end, so I wasn't even worried. But I did want to do a new style and kind of like make it look cute. But we'll do that in another time because it was just getting too late and I didn't have time for that. Yolissa hair review. Make sure you uh, go to yolissahair.com and shop you some hair. I'm definitely feeling it. Number one, because I haven't dressed up in so long. I didn't sit down and do my makeup in so long. I haven't worn hair or wig in so long. So, oh y'all, it's finally back. Like, it's finally back. Anyway, make sure you go over to Ulyssa Hair website, get you some hair, use my code, and every single detail will be in the description box down below. So any questions that you have, everything is in the description. Literally, everything is in the description. This is 24 inches straight, and this is where it comes to. Like, it's this is long. I cannot believe this is 24 inches. I can't believe that this is 24 inches. This is long. Who, who say what? Y'all hear something? Cause I don't. <laughs> and thank you, Yolissa, for sponsoring today's video. And I think this was a transparent lace, which is like really nice. Cause I don't really like transparent laces like that no more. Just because it don't always be the right shade for you and like, or like darker complexions. It's not always like a good shade. And like, it just be turning out white sometimes. Like, I don't know, I just don't like it. But this one right here, who? Cool. This is blonde. I know that I have a whole bunch of blonde wigs, y'all. Like, I'm really obsessed with blonde. Blonde is like my my go-to color other than black. Um, but I do think I'm gonna customize this. I just had to, you know, get the original tone of it. I just wanted to see the original tone of this. So, but I will be customizing this hair like after. Like maybe like water dye or something like that just to change up the color, but y'all know I love blonde. Like I can't get away from blonde and it's a new setup so yes if you did not know i moved make sure you go to my moving vlog and watch that to see the tour of the new apartment so if you didn't watch that already make i'll put a link or you know the little eye for you to go watch my moving vlog and yeah okay y'all that's pretty much the end of this video make sure you like comment and subscribe like if you're not subscribed already like what are you doing like what is you really doing if you're not already subscribed? Like, I'm gonna roll to 30k, y'all. It's lit. So make sure you go subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm trying to get more into doing hair videos because a lot of people like seeing, you know, the end result and how you do it. A lot of people don't know how to lay their wigs. So hopefully you guys like these, you know, the start of these videos. Let me know if you like today's transformation on this wig. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know any more colors that you want me to do. I got an exciting video coming out. I'm not gonna tell y'all the secret, but y'all gonna love this video. I'm not even playing, y'all gonna love it, but it's coming soon, so don't worry. I really wanna do orange, like a burnt orange. I think that would be really cute. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all in my next video. I'm out. Oh, make sure you check out your list of hair. Make sure you check out all of the links in the description box below. Make sure you use my code for money off. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Love y'all. See y'all in my next video.